So we think about the, over here on the left, the model I have here. We have a big circle, uh, which all those think of those as the inputs used to create a smaller circle, the final product. So we think about the paper industry as a good example of a bulk reducing company or an industry. Um, so we think about where does paper come from? It comes from wood. So on average, about four to six tons of timber, of wood, of trees, makes about one ton of paper. Uh, so it's a much bigger, you know, six tons makes only one ton. So it's final product. A lot of that, you know, you know, a lot of stuff that's not used and essentially is waste uh, in the uh, making paper process. Uh, so as an example of a bulk reducing uh, business. Uh, so strategically, uh, to reduce cost as much as possible, you don't want to haul six tons of wood around. You'd much rather haul one ton of paper around because it's going to be cheaper. Uh, you know, this thing about weight is cost. Um, so paper companies try to locate themselves as close as they can to the raw material source, to the inputs as possible, to a forested area as possible uh, to take advantage of minimizing transportation costs. Because once again, you want to get that six tons of wood converted to one ton of paper as soon as, pop as, as, soon as possible so then you could haul it uh, to wherever it needs to be. So much of the primary sector, raw materials, uh, we think of primary sector conversion into uh, secondary sector products, you're going to see a lot of bulk reducing industries in which the manufacturers try to locate as close as they can to the raw material source as possible. Over here, over here on the right hand side, think of this as more of the distribution. Um, so we see bulk redu uh, reducing industries. Uh, think about FedEx. Uh, they do a lot of as far as they you know they they, they organize and so an airplane will or a, you know big huge train load will bring a ton of stuff and gifts and packages and uh, mail all to Indianapolis residents. Um, so that's essentially what happens at the airport or at the post office, whatever FedEx is essentially where bulk is reduced, in which is then all that mail is then uh, reduced into smaller bits of mail that are then sent to individual neighbors, in which individual mail persons, mailmen, mailwomen, actually then bring that uh, a particular product, uh, mail, uh, whatever, to the actual residents. And so that's another example of bulk reducing industry. So the moral of the story is here, more often than not, we see this with raw materials in primary sector, uh, but the idea here is you want to locate your manufacturing, uh, whether it be your, your copper, uh, if, you, if you're mining copper and you're wanting to create copper, you're going to want to locate that as close as you can to the copper mine as possible. So we also see this in agriculture. So you want to locate uh, your ethanol plant, your ethanol manufacturing facility as close as you can to corn as possible. Uh, this is also a good ex explanation why Chicago dominates the agricultural market in the United States is because it's closest to uh, the raw materials, corn, soybeans, uh, 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 cows and dairy and all of that. And here we can 